about uh, California Native Americans uh, during the pre-Columbian era, so before any European influence. And the children were told that they were going to travel back in time and that they would have to live with the tribe. And they couldn't look suspicious as if they were from the future. And so they needed to learn about their ways of life and they asked as many questions as they needed to to find out about the way the tribe's way of life. They did a story map as a graphic organizer and then they wrote rough drafts, revised several times, thinking about the content and the craft of writing. And then after that, they typed their stories and illustrated using uh, color pencils and watercolors. And then we bound our books and presented it to the high-tech ninth graders. A gift for your kindness to me and the chief. Thank you. I will take the meat to my mother so she can cook it. I put the cloak on. It felt good. There was singing and dancing and music. We found all of our things in nature, like acorns, otters, and porpoises. Many pointers to his little sister. This is my little sister. Her name is Lily. She's seven years old and I'm nine years old. How old are you? He asked me. I'm nine years old. I replied, Emma, where am I? I asked him in a confused voice. He replied, you're on the northern coast in the Shasta Mountains and in the Shasta Trail. The other thing is that every time they have to present to an audience, they're just more motivated to do a better job. Yes, I said. And I held up, held on to it. Well then, whoa! Yep. I must get back to where I am from. Goodbye. Why so soon? You hunts ask. I must. Okay, okay, goodbye. I ran to the location my house should be. It was right, the right location too, because I saw the socks, grabbed hold of them, and found myself back at home in the future. And here's the picture.